Hi, everybody. It's Robbie from Southern California, and you all know how I love my hummingbirds and love making hummingbird feeders, along with the ones they buy, as well as solar fountains around here, too. But making hummingbird feeders and recycling food jars has been fantastic, and they love it. They love their peanut butter jars. They come in all different colors, and let me tell you, they'll use any of them. I do make some of mine out of ice cream containers, but today we're going to talk about peanut butter jars. Easy to make, and it doesn't matter on the color. I gravitate to red a little bit, but you'll see that the peanut butter jars come in all different colors, and they use all of them as well. The red I like because it's, well, it's YouTube. So it's the easiest thing to make and fun to sit out on a deck, a patio, your tables outside or anywhere. There's other ways of putting them out. We'll get into that later. As far as making them, you take the cap from a clean jar and you make holes all the way around. Now I start by making two holes in the center. That's going to be my handle. We'll get back to that in a second. Now go all the way around the edge because remember, they're going to be sitting on the edge and feeding. So you want to be able to put it around. Now they'll see the holes, so don't worry about it. They have very good eyesight. I usually do it now from the inside out. It makes smoother holes, and I do make some of the holes a little bit bigger so the Orioles can feed. Now I use a bread tie. Just put it through the two center holes, and I twist it. That's just your handle. It's easier to clean the container, pull the lid off the bottom of the plastic jar. So you'll see as we go along why I like that. Now as far as cutting it, it's about two inches from the bottom. Don't go any higher than that. I start it with my soldering iron. You can use a hot knitting needle for this if you want, but I love my soldering iron. And then once you get your hole that done, just you can get your scissors in there very easy and you can go all the way around and cut the bottom off. Just shy of two inches. Now, once you have it cut off, if you feel it's sharp, I do this with a lot of my different projects. I take my soldering iron, I run it along the edge of the plastic, and that will make it so it's not sharp and it's nice and smooth. You can do that with any of your projects with plastic. And that's it. Now your cap will fit in there and you'll just fill it with nectar. Now, if the cap doesn't fit, some jars are different. They might be a little narrower. You can just cut a little bit off. You're going to make it where it will fan open a little bit. Now when you cut it with the scissors, don't go more than a half an inch or your formula will fall out that, you know, will spill out when you fill it. So just go all the way around and cut about a half inch. You'll see here. And that will make a little bit of flexibility when you put your cap on. See how it flexes? And now you'll be able to push the cap on if it was way too tight. And your formula, the, the nectar, the hummingbird nectar will still stay inside. That's all there is to it. And don't forget how easy it is to make your own homemade nectar of a quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar and one cup of water. You can use your tap water if you can drink it. If you can't drink it, go ahead and use bottled water. I warm it a little bit, some of the water, so the sugar will dissolve well, and then I add the rest of the part of the water. That's cold, so it'll be ready to use. If not, you could store it in the refrigerator and just use a little bit at a time. If you want to paint some flowers on the top, that's up to you. Be sure to use acrylic non-toxic paint. I don't bother with it. Now all you have to do is find the place outside, but here you'll see this is how I make them, just shy of two inches. You can sit them anywhere you want, and if you want, you can put them on things. I love putting them in beautiful, tall coffee cups. I put something inside so it won't fall inside, give it lift, and there you go. And you put it outside, and the hummingbirds will come. As far as filling it, it's so easy to clean, and once they're clean, just fill them, and then you just put the cap on. That's all there is to it. Now, if you want, you can hang them. You can make a little tie for them and just hang them up, and that works great. See, when you make the hole a little bigger, your Orioles will come in too because they love nectar. And we have lots of Orioles nesting around here every year, and they have tons of babies all over the place. It's so fun to watch them. But you can sit these peanut butter cups on any little pedestal or anything you've got, 
and they're and they're just so much fun and so easy to use and the hummingbirds love coming into the hanging ones you can also put a tray underneath of water anything you've got maybe a lid from another food container fill it with water and that will stop the ants that's all there is to it they will come they will use it they absolutely love it it's the easiest thing i think you're going to find you make when it comes to hummingbirds and some of them will hover like they do when they're feeding on flowers and some of them will just sit down and have a drink. So I hope I've given you some ideas on what to do with those food containers that you've got that you can make hummingbird feeders, invite in the Orioles and you can set them anywhere you want. I actually have them with my hanging feeders that I buy. I put them out the window as well on a little shelf because some of them really prefer the peanut butter cups to feed out of. So I hope I've given you thoughts of what you can do with some of those food containers you've got. Have fun. Enjoy the hummingbirds. And remember, it takes a little time until they find it. But boy, once they find it, you'll have them all over. With that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody.